So I was watching Cali Legends Media video titled Beware of Nefarious Tricksters in which he's reacting to boxer Enriquez's video that he put out about his ties to the movie American Me or whatever. And I've seen bits and pieces of that. I've seen maybe the first minute or so of that video. And I thought it was corny myself. I thought it was just clickbait. You know what I mean? I thought that he's just cloud chasing. But something that Cowley uh, Legends Media brings up is the fact that you know, this dude, he rats on the on the California Mexican Mafia, you know, and he sell, sold people on the idea that he did it for all the right reasons, you know what I mean? That, um, you know, it, his intentions were true and whatever, and, you know, he really wanted to change his life and get on with his life or whatever. Now... I find that there is many of them who who debrief and testify and rat on these prison gangs or whatever and then turn around and come on YouTube, you know, and they wanna they wanna relive the legacy that they had in these gangs, which it devalues what they say when they say that they, they got out you know, to, to say themselves and to do what was best for them. And they wanted to get on with their lives or whatever. But you see how after the fact, they come on here and they just relive it all over and over and over again, which disproves what they say to be true about their intentions being, you know, doing it for all the right reasons. Well, if you did it for all the right reasons and you intended to get on with your life, then why are you returning back to your own slop and regurgitating your own vomit? If this is a life and a lifestyle that you wanted to get so far away from, you shouldn't years later come back and try to relive all this. You shouldn't even speak on it no more because what credibility does any of them have to speak on these gangs once they rat on them? Now, Mundo was the first to come out with his hair flying back with all this, and the rest of them seem to follow. You know, people who've taken the stand against these gangs and rat it, and they want to act like that they did it for all the right reasons. When they come back, like I said, and they just regurgitate their own vomit, they return right back to the slop, reliving these past glories and want to get credibility online. They want to they wanna come on here and appear as if they're the most, they're the most reputable or whatever on the subject when in fact they rat it. Their intentions weren't to get on with their lies and do what was best for them because if that was true, then they would not come back to speaking on it. They would get so far away from that that they would never want to be identified in association with what was in their past. Yet they prove this to be not to be true because what do they do? They come back and they want notoriety, notability, reputability online on YouTube for once being that. And they want to act like they're doing some good by telling these stories. Well, what good was there in, in, in Renee telling the story that everybody knew? Everybody was well, well aware of of the consequences of the movie American Me as soon as it came out, as soon as all of the, the backlash came to those who were involved in it. It was all over mainstream media. But now he's got to he's got to put his own two cents into it. He's got to put his own ties into it for clicks and clout on YouTube. I thought he wanted to get on with his life. So why why try to turn around and 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 make money off of the crimes that he committed. They're turning around and, and capitalizing off of the crimes that they committed after they rat it. And they want to give the impression that there's still something or someone when they're not. They're rats. They were always weak. If they were if they were never weak, then they never would have broke. Because there's people who don't break. There's people who 
do who die for theirs. And there's people that, that, that press on without ever having to say anything. Now, there's the one, one OG. I can't remember his name. He, he passed away a few years back. Uh, Kilroy. Kilroy. You know, there are those with, 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 with a legacy of their own where they didn't tell. They didn't turn on them. They didn't break weak and things like that. But you got these characters online that insist. And they want to sell people on the idea that their reputations for what they once were stands today. They want the same credibility that they had then as now. And they're quick to say that, oh, I'm still capable or whatever. No, you're not. You're in hiding. You rat it. This is pathetic of these people to do after they turned around and ratted on them gangs. They broke weak as they did and they want to come on here now and capitalize on it and make money off of it. That's disgusting, dude. That's, dis that's disgraceful to their own selves. If you truly want to get on with your life, get on with your life. Move past it. Don't try to pre don't try to present your your past as your presence right in front of you and try to sell us on an idea that doesn't exist. You're not that. Renee Box Enriquez, you're a rat. You're weak. You always were weak, or you never would have broke weak. You were always a weak link, just like a whole lot of these dudes that come on here in this YouTube yard that we all know are debriefers and rats and, and in witness protection program. They're nefarious tricksters is what they all are. And they got their audience convinced of something that they never were. It's time these dudes go away, man. You, you went and ran and hid there in prison and made these deals that you did. Now go run along here on YouTube. Get on like you've been spit on. Because you punks are weak. That's to all of them. And shout out to, to the Homemade County Legends Media. You know, and uh, peace.